when I was growing up, um, my dad was uh, in the Marines, so that meant moving quite a bit. And for those of you who've moved quite a bit in your childhood, you don't have any roots, you don't have any friends. And so fitting in was very, very hard. And what I used to do when I would be in a crowd of people, but no one would talk to me, is I'd play with numbers in my head. And school was my solace, because I did very well in school, did very well in science and math. As I was nearing graduation from the Masters of Public Administration, I applied for the Presidential Management Intern Program. That's a postgraduate program, two years with the federal government, and uh, I was accepted and I was elated. And then NASA called me, which was just a surprise and a shock. And so when the NASA headquarters called, I said, well, I'm sure you know I'm not a scientist or an engineer. Why would you want me? And they said, well, we need all types of people and your skill is business and so we're interested in interviewing you. And I picked an NASA and they picked me and it, that was back in 83. Gee, my first day at NASA, that was a long time ago because I just finished my 28th year, but I remember um, walking into NASA headquarters, seeing the flag of, flags, of course, and thinking, wow, I can't believe Gwen Young is working at NASA. So I entered, did all the in-processing, and the thing that struck me is when you had to take the oath, and that was quite the moment to remember um, what I was pledging that I would do. Quite an honor. I really appreciate mentoring. In fact, um, when Space Station Freedom Program Office was being closed and moved to Johnson Space Center, the comptroller then was Mr. Tom Campbell. And he was out at Reston working for a while before he um, retired and he became my mentor and we had a very um, unusual but fun relationship so I used to call him my tormentor um, because he would push me to do things that were uncomfortable and I think that's one of the roles of a mentor is to step back in their experience and look at what you want to achieve and really kind of push you to things that are uncomfortable or things that you've never thought about and I think also is just testing my different abilities, abilities that I didn't really know I had, and you really don't know until you're tested to see if you can actually be successful, like working with people. I was very shy as a, as a child, and I, to see me now being able to um, run meetings, um, talk to people, I give speeches sometimes, and I still get a little nervous, but I'm not totally paralyzed as I was as a child, being so shy. And so NASA has really helped me um, grow and develop as a person and being able to contribute to the mission of NASA. I have a job that um, really challenges me. As the Associate Director, I would bring all those staff offices together. We would have meetings every week. We'd have a tag up Monday mornings like other groups, like the, the technical directors, the engineering directors did. And so as I reflected on, you know, what's the most um, proud thing or the thing that I'm uh, most proud of my accomplishment, I think it's just bringing people together as a team so that they have that personal relationship before the problems come, or that they can just go talk to each other. Advice I would give to women today, I think it's, the world has changed so much since I grew up and was in high school in the 70s, thank goodness, and that I don't really have to tell um, young girls or women uh, in college that the world is is at their feet because they know that already but i think my message is one that's kind of timeless is that i've had a lot of um, disappointments um, in my life and that you really can't let that stop you if it's something you really want to do you have to kind of back up get advice i ask questions a lot and seek people that can help you and give you direction and then you know, actually take the step and, and 
you know, try again. I'm Gwen Young and I work for NASA.